in this video I will uh, basically go through the process of downloading and installing a uh, new 4 J uh, which is a graph database uh, so in order to download Neo4j um, I can simply type in Neo4j in my Google uh, search engine and I can select Neo4j Google and you can see this downloads link uh, for Neo4j so if I click this I will go on to the Neo4j website on downloads page and over here you can basically see uh, two different editions of Neo4j uh, one is the enterprise edition and then the other is the community edition uh, the enterprise edition comes with a 30 day free trial version um, whereas the community edition come, comes for free uh, now if you want to build up something for commercial application uh, you should download enterprise edition uh, but for the purpose of this tutorial and to um, find out some of the basic features of Neo4j and just for the purposes of learning and exploration um, we can uh, basically download community edition so I'll just click on this link and download the community edition and um, I am expecting that it will start the download process or perhaps I can okay so it has already started downloading over here um, just in order to prepare for this tutorial I already downloaded a version of Neo4j um, but I'm downloading it again uh, just to show you the whole process so I'll pause this video uh, so that Neo4j downloads the meanwhile and then I'll continue this once it's uh, downloaded just to show you the basic steps of installation. So now Neo4j is downloaded on my machine I'll just simply click the run uh, button and it has prepared to install. Um, so let us see what happens once it's goes through this process yes and I'll simply click next over here and I accept the agreement Let's say next and you need to see so I'm, I'm going to install it on, on the program files chart directory of my machine and let's just find No, now Neo4j is installed on my machine, so I'll just. Okay, so Neo4j has now installed. Now, in order to um, use Neo4j, um, we'll have to select um, uh, one of the databases, uh, and there are certain databases which comes with Neo4j, um, and just sample databases so that you can use those sample databases, play Neo4j, explore some of the features, and um, decide if it's uh, worth using a graph database for your project. So this tutorial was basically about download and install process, and in the next video, I will um, start to show you um, perhaps the user interface or um, the querying language of Neo4j which is Cypher or, or some, some of the fundamental features how to query your data, how to update your data and different relationships with um, between the entities which exist in a database so I'll show uh, you all those basic features in the next videos uh, thank you and stay tuned for the next videos